gentle. Now we're riding along with Kenny Wallace. After that 24th place qualifying effort, there's only one way to go, up. Kenny Wallace drove to a career best fourth place finish at Martinsville in 1994. Kenny Wallace posted his first start in this NASCAR series in 1990 at North Wilkesboro. That is some great wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Well, there go the eggs. Woo, that's going to leave a mark. Pocono's been dubbed as a super speedway that drives like a road course. Clear high. Pocono's unique two and a half mile trial offers three straights, each with a different length. Keep low. Great racing continues here at Pocono Raceway. Clear high. Both Dale Jarrett and Jeff Gordon won races here at Pocono during the 1997 season. The aerodynamics of these cars have come a long way since the early days of NASCAR. The aero wars really began in the late 1960s when the Ford Motor Company introduced car models like the Ford Torino that featured flattened rear windows and shorter trunks for improved aerodynamics. Keep low. Clear high. Kenny Wallace takes a spot away. The square D car of Kenny Wallace is now running in the top five. He's running with the leaders. Stay high. Keep high. Keep low. Third position belongs to the square D car. He should just concentrate on the leaders now. Kenny Wallace is in second place. He's almost up to the front. He picked up the pace through that trap. This track's got the best food. The cars are equipped with standard four-speed transmissions. The NASCAR transmission has an alloy case with heavy-duty linkage. Some teams use oil coolers to remove some of the heat, which can reach as high as 300 degrees. It would be great to have a race like this every day. Cars on both sides. The number one spot belongs to Jeff Gordon. The number two spot belongs to Kenny Wallace. The number three spot belongs to Bobby Allison. The number four spot belongs to Benny Parsons. Jeremy Mayfield is fifth. Sixth place belongs to Jeff Bodine. Seventh place belongs to Cale Yarborough. Eighth place belongs to Dale Jarrett. Ninth place belongs to Sterling Marlin. Bodine and the number seven car are trying to gain a position. Bobby Labonte is 10th. Halfway home, keep it up. Keep low. Bodine and the number seven car are trying to gain a position. Dale Jarrett moves up a spot. I appear to be dropping off the pace. Bobby Lamonti's number 18 car takes a spot away. Battling for position. Bobby Allison is running in second place. He's ready to make his run now. The Interstate Batteries car is moving up through the pack. Oh, that was slick. Bobby Lamonti's number 18 car takes a spot away. Allen for position. Charging toward the front is Alan Kowicki. Oh, that was slick. The 
key to winning a championship is consistency. It's a long season and you have to do well in every race if you want to end up at the awards banquet in New York City. position belongs to Cale Yarborough. And the battle is on. Look at that. I took a spot away. Gordon takes a spot. He's working his way up through the field. Bobby Allison is in the number three spot. He's moving up on second place. Cale Yarborough was running in third place. Things are getting interesting now. Kenny Wallace takes the checkered flag. 